Hello, I'm Dr. Sarah Lam. I'll be debunking the 10 myths about dogs and cats. Actually, um, they are dichromatic, which means they can only see two color cones, say a rainbow. Um, they can only see yellow, um, maybe a bit darker yellow, then gray, and then blue. Uh, warm doesn't always necessarily mean they are sick. You should check whether they have good appetite, have they been eating, drinking normally, going to the toilet, and if you're concerned, you should um, check with your own vet. Most of the time when they wag their tail, it means they are happy. The position of um, the tail, if it's higher sometimes, it could be uh, showing aggression to other dogs as well. If the tail's the position is lower, it could be submission or uh, out of fear. It's cleaner than human's mouth um, at a certain level. The different type of bacteria is more in dog's mouth because they sniff around and then they would have a nastier bacteria. But in terms of um, the number of bacteria, they actually have less and possibly lesser chance to get infected when we get bitten by the dog. Actually, smaller dogs, they have a longer lifespan and bigger size dogs, they have shorter lifespan. Um, so we cannot just multiply it by seven for all sizes dog. There's actually a graph. Um, you can search uh, life expectancy compared to human. Animals in general, over the world, they have um, allergy, food allergy. It's quite common to cause skin issue. Um, but the most common thing to cause that is from a protein source. Um, it doesn't have to be chicken or poultry. Sometimes pork can cause that. Um, you just need to consult your, your vet to figure out which protein source causes the food allergy. There's also times when they get sick in pain, they could purr but it's not very common. Sometimes when we have uh, newborn kittens, they also purr to let the mom know that they are around. So it's actually a way for communication. Because cats, they have more um, cones in their eyes. They can actually um, see better in a dimmer environment but complete darkness of course they also can't see so for cats they only require one sixth of the light um, to be able to see so you can say they're more sensitive in, uh, in a more dim environment they have more superior uh, writing reflex um, and they have a more flexible backbone uh, most of the time they can land on their feet um, but still accidents happen if they do fall from a high rise um, building they can still injure themselves most of cats are lactose intolerant um, so and they don't require so much calcium from their diet um, actually, sometimes giving milk to cats could cause um, gastrointestinal um, issues such as uh, diarrhea or vomiting. First of all, it's very cruel um, because actually the nail is part of the knuckle, um, it's part of bone. So when you pluck it out, it will definitely bleed and it's not moral at all. So I would strongly uh, discourage this um, behavior. So the term uh, human grade pet food is not regulated in the pet food industry at the moment. I would advise pet owners to look out for the term complete and balanced because it's a term that's uh, regulated and is suitable for all stages of life for your pet. I hope through this video, you can gain more awareness. If you have any more burning questions, please clarify with your vet. Bye!